Good morning, folks. It was a very calm day on our star. No big eruptions, no big solar flares. But indeed, there is still space weather to analyze as the earthquake watch continues based on the planetary geometry and this dark coronal hole. As an aside, the beginning of the uptick we saw yesterday, the 6.6 .6 earthquake in Panama, was indeed the largest earthquake in more than a month. Let's go to the solar wind. The speed and density, orange and yellow, both have had significant fluctuations over the last few days. And plasma temperature in green down below has gone from around 2,000 Kelvin to around 80,000. The negative polarity of portions of this wind stream highly disrupted our magnetic shield and allowed major energy to integrate into the system. We saw a level 3 geomagnetic storm yesterday. It's the largest one in quite a while, but still nothing to fear. Looking at the sunspots, the central grouping is growing and bipolar, but still with a good deal of spread between the magnetics. Meanwhile, the spot to watch on the limb is at the south, turning in after cresting about 24 hours ago and appearing to be more active than the other Earth-facing spots. Those two groups in the plasma filaments present today's solar eruption potential. We also have another filament snaking in behind them on the south. Folks, today's links are astounding. Etacarine, a binary system where the star's close approach is about the distance between Sun and Mars. They detail their solar winds, X-ray flares, and supernova potential over the short term. We are also finding reports and video of a large fireball over Romania. Meteor was caught on multiple cameras. May I also note that of the hundreds of fireballs documented on Earth the last few years, not one of them was on the NEO list. Useful, huh? Fruit. Potatoes, vegetables, milk, and beef all contaminated with radiation, Scotland being highly affected by Britain's liquid radioactive waste dumping. Please send links to more info if you got them. I'd also like to note that after showing amazing recovery, the Arctic ice is now sputtering again to near record low levels for this time of year. Of course, this wouldn't be so fun if the Antarctic wasn't breaking for yet another high ice mark breaking high ice records three years in a row now. In the United States, this high pressure node is not our friend. It's freezing in Florida, so when I show these wind chill values to the north, it shouldn't shock you. Snow accumulation could become as serious a concern as the low temperatures here soon. In Europe, there is no rocket science needed to see the moisture flow and collision on shore there. Weather will be inclement along that line and then curling north around the low. Down under, the northwest low is strengthening fairly rapidly, and that takes the primary watch tonight, but we also have a convergence to the southeast where air masses collide, and that line shifts from Tasmania up to the arms of the low. Got a new addition to the current conditions and shots of our star to close at 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.15 a.m. in Arizona. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.